So if you're looking to join the tech industry in today's world, it requires a lot more work. There's way more competition than ever before, okay? I work in IT. I actually work as an IT support specialist. So my team and I, we are in charge of offboarding, onboarding. We manage a lot of users, okay? With whatever issues that they're having IT related, we take care of that, obviously, we work in IT. Again, we work, we, we also take care of onboarding and offboarding. We've noticed a lot of software engineers were terminated from my employer, right? Again, we see exactly what accounts need to be disabled, revoked, <laughs> termination. It's been mostly software engineers. And this is not some type of gloom, doom and gloom video. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to basically make it seem like it's a bad idea to become a software engineer or work as an IT person or just a tech worker in general. That's just not the intent. I think, I, I think it's, it's still a great idea to join this field. It absolutely is, but it just requires more work. There's a lot more competition, like I said earlier. That's, that's one of the biggest things you have to worry about. And that's what I want to talk about mainly. But before we do that, uh, let me finally introduce myself. My name is Ario D. Juiced from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, comment, share, hit the bell notification to uh, receive more video alerts once they're uploaded. If you enjoy the content, if you enjoy the content, do those things. If you don't enjoy, obviously, don't waste your time here. But if you do like the content that I post here, hit the bell notification, subscribe. Let's do all that stuff. Um, also, special shout out to our friends and supporters at CourseCareers.com, which is an online training program that has helped many people, myself included, land, land a job in tech. Uh, yeah, so, oh my God, what am I doing? If you're looking to join the tech space and you're new to it, I think Course Careers is a great option some of these tech jobs are paying between fifty thousand to six figures plus more information about course careers course, course careers i'll leave it down below i took one of their courses their their it course finished it i've been working in it ever since this is my third it, IT job after course careers it works so if you're looking to get into this field one of the best options is course careers and that's about it again more information about course careers in the box below the the, the description box below of this video let's keep talking again i'm here to, to just talk about this insane amount of competition that people are seeing or you're going to see to now join the tech space it's still possible but now you have to really show a lot more than just one thing meaning what else can you do besides coding Ba like writing basic code, whatever syntax, what else can you do, right? Because we're slow, not slowly, we're really seeing AI is becoming more and more ma like mature to the point where it can write or build you an entire app by writing all the code for you. It's not perfect, obviously, but it's going to get better very very soon in in our lifetime to the point where these machines are going to replace the easy repetitive basic coding when building something i think this is a great idea if i own the business well i do own a small business but if i own a business in terms of tech a tech business that's loud helicopter um i would very much adopt the idea of implementing AI into my business where my employees can focus on more challenging and unique issues, right? While the machine is taking care of the basic repetitive coding, my employees can focus on harder and, and just, just a more unique and challenging issue to solve, if that makes any sense. That's the whole point of AI, to make life easier. While we focus on harder things and being being creative and just not have to worry about the easy stuff, the machine has it. Hope that makes sense, but that's really where we're going. We laid off pretty much 
more than half of our software engineers because we don't need their service anymore. A lot of these people were working remotely. And uh, I think since the pandemic, they've been with the company. And like everybody else in pretty much every other tech space or company, during that time, four years ago, they needed a lot of help. When things went back to normal, they realized we don't need this many people on the floor. We've hired IT people. We, we've hired, I want to say, five or six new people, something like that. I'm not saying they replaced the software engineers, but the fact is we hired more IT personnel or professionals than software engineers. We don't need that many on the floor anymore. We just don't. And a lot of companies are doing the same exact approach. And with all that said, again, this is still a great job to decide to take engineering, support, great tech jobs. Go for it. And I do also want to add machines or AI will never replace the human engineer. Everyone needs to stop with this argument online that this is going to, it's not going to happen. You're just dumb to think this is a possibility. I'm sorry to be this blunt but i think only dumb people think this way that ai is just going to replace the engineer oh, no it would not and by talking like this that makes me how should i put it that that helps me understand that you probably are not a professional in the tech space if you assume such a thing if you had a job right if you had a career in tech you're around actual professionals, C CTOs, CFOs, IT directors, senior engineers. You will understand quickly that this will, it, it will never happen. AI replacing the engineer, it's never going to happen. I know this because I work with these people to understand this is, it's, it's, it's almost impossible, basically. So we got that out of the way. But here's the reality, or just, I guess the truth of the matter which is even though AI would not replace the, 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 the human engineer it will replace a lot of people absolutely because you're not needed anymore for basic things in terms of engineering or building or even fixing debugging but a human being needs to be present when it comes to AI they're the ones building it the engineer built the AI, literally. That's why they, they will always be around to fix the AI or the robot automation. When things go wrong, engineers have to come fix it. That's why they, they're never going away. A lot of you will go away because you're not needed. This is where I say, what else can you do besides just coding? What else can you, what else can you do as an engineer besides just that one thing? Because now it's... Things are, are, are just evolving and changing in tech. It, it, it's really, what else can you, like, what, 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 what value can you, could you bring to an employer, basically, you know, besides just one thing? And I think a lot of engineers, or especially senior engineers who've been laid off from fame, they're realizing there needs to be more that they can do to get back into the workspace what else can i do what else can i learn besides what i was doing at my old employer you have to start thinking like this because of the 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 amount of talent that's out there right now the amount of people that have been laid off from their jobs as engineer or even it the amount of people looking for work is insane employers are like they have the advantage of picking and choosing who they want and they're going to choose the best of the best. So you have to compete with that talent or those. <laughs> you have to compete with this ocean of talented people who can do more than just one thing in terms of engineering. And that's what I think my employer is looking for as well. My job, my job title is IT help desk. Right. That's my job title. But the responsibilities are IT support. Which means I'm doing more than just help desk responsibilities. I'm also assisting the network in, in, in engineer 
with his job duties because he's like the guy's just slammed with work. I'm assisting, right, to help him just do the easy network engineering tasks while he focuses on harder things as an IT help desk. That's not really my job. But I love the fact that I'm doing it because it's more experience when it comes to networking. I love it. The same thing applies for the for our junior cybersecurity person. I'm also helping this person with her tasks in terms of her being a cybersecurity, you know, professional. I get to see exactly what kind of program the person is using. Everything. It's amazing. I'm only help desk, right? The job title doesn't matter. It's all about the responsibility. I'm kind of off topic. But I'm trying to paint this picture of what else can you do besides help desk? So what? You can add a printer to someone's computer. So what if you're not a reset a password via Active Directory or Azure? So what? Cool. What else can you do? Do you know anything about a network toner? Can you use one? Do you know what's the purpose of it? Could you tell me or explain to me exactly? Let me see. <laughs> trying to make sense here. Could you basically locate the signal of an Ethernet port, right? Let's say someone has a faulty Ethernet port or wall, right? Do you know how to set up the entire equipment to send the signal from that port to the IT server room, find that signal, and basically patch that port to another functioning port in the switch so that person in that office space with the malfunctioning um, network port has service or can now access the, the internet. This is not the job of help desk at all. It's the job of a network engineer. But that's basic engineer task. But I'm, I, I will gladly do it. What else can you do? This, that, that's my whole point of this argument. And this is something a lot of people have to really keep in mind. You are competing with the entire world of engineers and IT people. The people who are laid off from Dale, from, 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 from Dale um, Jesus Christ, Apple, it's just fang. These are very talented people. A lot of them are also senior engineers. You're competing with them. You better step up your game in terms of your skills, your networking. You have a lot of work to do, especially if you're new here. Don't let what I'm saying to you discourage you. Let it motivate you to do more. That's my whole argument. You need to do more to get in this tech space as we speak. I pray to God no one took this video as some kind of doom and gloom thing because it's, it's not. It's a wake-up call. That's all it is. That's all that is. Because I see exactly what we're doing at my employer and other companies. We are looking for very talented people to join our team. If it's help desk, what else can you do besides help desk? If it's software engineering, what else can you do besides coding? What else can you do? Because it's all hands on deck at this point for most companies. But they're only looking for very talented people because of the amount of competition that is now that that all of you are seeing. Let it motivate you. Let that motivate you to get better and do better. I hope I made sense to you. I pray to God I made sense in this video. But I'm only here to report what's going on. And I hope the information is valuable to you and it benefits you in some way, shape, or form. I pray to God that is the takeaway you got from this video. You have a lot of work to do. Again, you are competing with a lot of talented software engineers or tech workers in this climate right now. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Peace out. Let me get back to work. I'm out of here. Much love to you.